The boys are back in town. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for The Boys Season 2. The season just ended uh, after everyone seemed to be complaining about it being in episodic form, which I wonder if any of those people realize just how quickly this show was produced. They literally confirmed, shot it, and released it almost within a year. And this is a heavy effect show. This is a heavy CG special effect reliant show. Also because of how fast they did it. They weren't able to do as many creative shots as they were able to do in the first season. While the story in this season is a little bit more centralized about the characters rather than the world building, which was so great about the first season, this season is a little bit lacking in terms of the spectacle and the overall grandiose sort of scenes that were in the first season. For example, in the first episode of season one, Butcher drives Invisible Guy through the store and you see him from an overhead shot smashing all the store aisles. He's not there, but you can see it and it's a very extensive shot and they did that for the next four episodes. The most heavy extensive sort of sequence like that in this season is when Stormfront is going after that other soup through the apartment building and just destroying it. Which, speaking of Stormfront, I liked this character, I liked that she was a shady bitch. However, I felt that the whole Nazi-esque vibe of her came quite suddenly at the end. We knew what she was, I knew what she was from comics. It was very gradual, and then it was really ham-fisted in the last episode. Even when she revealed who she actually was, you didn't hear any of the white genocide, racist Nazi bullshit coming out of her until the very last episode. So I was kind of surprised that they pushed it at the end. Like, if you wanted us to not like this character at all, you could have done it maybe a few episodes earlier. While Homelander's story started out real goddamn slow, the second episode is such a drag. His arc in this entire season is actually pretty cool. He is the strongest man in the entire world, yet he is at the whims of other people, of mortals. It is a great story concept. But then going back to the boys, aside from Frenchie and Butcher a little bit at the very end, the guys have near on no development. All of the development is for the sign language girl. She has more development than almost all of them combined. Mother's Milk is this character who I swear has the ability to be someone interesting. He has something there but they don't do anything with him he's just a loyal guy and he says some funny jokes about hand sanitization there were the episode where they went on the road trip i really thought there was going to be some development with him and all they did is they talked about his ocd that was it now i'm being a little bit complaintive about this season i will say though the season finale of this one is far better than season one. This was an actual definitive season end. There was a lot of moments that had me on the edge of my seat. There were a lot of great fights. There were some sequences that completely surprised me. I particularly love the fight against Stormfront at the end. And Frenchie's like, girls get it done. I did enjoy how it ended. I do look forward to seeing what's going to happen in the third season. I am kind of speculative about what is going to happen. When you find out who's blowing up the heads, it's not exactly a, oh, it's more of a, huh? It's one of those moments where you reveal a villainous character that has no foreshadowing whatsoever. There is a cool idea of what's going to happen with this character going into the third season. However, it's still just no one could have predicted it because of just how out of nowhere it was. In the end, The Boys Season 2 is a good second season. It's not as strong as the first one, admittedly, but it still finishes strong. It, it, it definitely needed that after the first three episodes were so bare. The first three were very, very dry and started to pick up a little bit afterwards. Otherwise, though, I think that The Boys Season 2 is commendable. It's not great. It was lacking. It did finish strong though. So in the end, I'm gonna give The Boys Season 2 a 4 out of 7. I am excited to see what happens with the next season. At the same time though, I would like it if The Boys could get a little bit more development. Frenchie did have some development obviously, and Butcher got a bit of development in the last episode. But again, you, you need to do a little bit more than that for us to really care about these guys, considering 
They really aren't good at taking down soups. It's them using resources of other people. Because if they didn't have the people who they had on the last episode on their side, they would have been screwed. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you liked this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.